global for the past 50 years. The planet cannot sustain this growth. I realize this is a poisonous topic for politicians, but it's crucial to face. Empowering women and educating everyone on the need to curb population growth seems a reasonable campaign to enact. Would you be courageous enough to discuss this issue and make it a key feature of a plan to address climate catastrophe? Well, well the answer is yes. <laughs> and the answer has everything to do with the fact that women in the United States of America, by the way, have a right to control their own bodies and make reproductive decisions. And the Mexico City Agreement, which denies American aid to those organizations around the world that, are, uh, that allow women to have abortions or even get involved uh, in birth control, to me is totally absurd. So I think, especially in poor countries around the world, uh, where women do not necessarily want to have large numbers of babies, and where they can have the opportunity through birth control to control the number of kids they have, something I very, very strongly uh, support. Well, that didn't go over well, because most people don't think eugenics is a great idea. In fact, if you ask me, it's a disqualifying idea. We reached out to the Sanders camp for clarification, and they provided us a statement, which reads, Bernie has always opposed governments dictating any limits on how, if, and when people start and grow families, both in the U.S. and around the world. Bernie believes that federal government does not have the right to make a whim women's choices for them. When he's in the White House, Bernie will fight back against the Republican assault on abortion rights across the country and defend a woman's right to control her own body around the world. Here to discuss this, Republican strategist from Michael Singleton, Democratic strategist and CNN political commentator Aisha Moody Mills. Um, that statement, Sir Michael, is basically <laughs> responding to straw men. Right. I, uh, we, did, we didn't ask him about his position on um, abortion. I, 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 I know where he stands. They're just talking around it. Um, yeah. Bernie's always opposed governments dictating any limits on how, if, and when people start to grow families. I never said you didn't. That's not the point. I, this is actually not complicated, Sir Michael. A woman asked if he would make curbing population growth right. a part of his plan to address climate change, to which he said unequivocally, yes. Mm -hmm. And then, that's disturbing enough, and then offered up himself that protecting abortion rights in third world countries will be part of that plan. And this reminds me of Margaret Sanger. It Eugenics 2.0, and as an African American, this concerns me more than anything else. And this it's is a part of the problem with Bernie Sanders and his idea of socialism. I'm reminded of the aphorism absolute power corrupts absolutely. I don't see how this guy is any different, to be quite frank, than Donald Trump with the level of control he wants to have mm. over the average person. Mm. That's <coughs> extremely problematic. It's disqualifying to me, and it goes to show you why Bernie Sanders has not done well with African Americans. Aisha, saving the planet through fewer poor black and brown babies. I'm curious, how does a liberal hear that? Okay, so first of all, as a liberal, I yes. think this whole conversation is like extremely disingenuous. Bernie Sanders There's did nothing not disingenuous about Bernie my outrage Sanders over what he said. did not get please, on the stage please, and say please. that the, he did not have a eugenics conversation. Now, what he did... He was asked, are you interested in curbing and population? And he made the wrong answer yes. by saying yes, but that was because what? Bernie Sanders' biggest problem, in my humble opinion, is that he flubs just like Joe Biden flubs. We and asked he him did to not, clarify. He, he, did not, not, he did not change his mind. He did not lean into to a conversation about climate change in that statement. He actually started talking about the woman's right to choose. And I think that what he did wrong mm -hmm. is that he was not able to pivot from a ridiculous question and actually make a point that is a point that he makes all the he time. Didn't pivot. He didn't pivot. He said yes affirmatively. He answered yes. Sure. sure. And I, so you think and I think this I think that Bernie does not, does not take that away. And I say this as someone who does not defend Bernie Sanders no, no, and I certainly know. is not on his so, payroll. I if understand. you look at my Twitter, sure, sure. you all know how I feel no, no, about Bernie Sanders. But I think it's disingenuous was to try to feed mm -hmm. a very right-wing, rabid idea to just try to say the socialist guy wants to kill our babies. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Guys, guys, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't call me disingenuous. I'm genuinely outraged about this because it's disgusting. And the majority of the country is not interested in population control. Sure, well, it's an extreme idea. And I and and I mean, mean, said mean, yes. I but, totally agree with you. And he did not say he believes deeply in population control. Excuse I think me. Well, we need to have facts. He said yes, and he should have said no. We need to have facts on this. We need to have.
I don't know how he show. could have said Stop. this to them. Do you? Would you be courageous I enough to the discuss question like, excuse me. Do you? Would you be courageous enough to discuss this issue and make it a key feature of a plan to address climate catastrophe? The answer, yeah. Martha, is yes. Said, and yeah. the answer has everything to do with the fact that, uh, look, don't put words in his mouth. This is what he said. I asked for clarification. He did not take it back. Nothing he said in his statement changes what he said here. I am not a Bernie Sanders apologist. I will say, though, that what I have not seen is anyone other than you being as outraged and interpreting this whoa, whoa. in the same whoa, way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good, what I'm saying, go on the Google. What what I'm go on saying the Google is that he thing. does have some explaining to do, but yeah. I do not believe that those two conversations were intended to be conflated. I think that he, he did not respond well to this question that in my mind, frankly, I, I think you're, inv you're, you're, I, you're, but, inventing, but say, you're inventing a, a justification. I, for I, I do want to say, there. I know your position. I follow you. I've known you for a while. So I believe what you're saying. But my point, Aisha, would be if he did misspeak, they had a clear opportunity to clarify. He didn't say, wait a minute, yes, but wait a minute, let I'm me not back this up. Control. He expounded upon the yes, which I find I to be problematic. And when given the opportunity, but when given the opportunity, but when given the opportunity, when asked by this show to clarify, to add further specificity, he did not at all. All right, That's let me, let me, let me, let me move on just a little.